on Saturday, I had a uh, three-one event I hosted, and right after that, I had to go for a banquet event. So the invite that I got said, if you're a young Nigerian, tired of, I think, tired of the way things are run, and you want to change, you know, you're invited to the Banky W. Um, Banky W organization is inviting you. And I went because, of course, I'm a young Nigerian, tired of status quo, wanting a change, desirous of seeing things moving over to where we've always wanted them to be. So I went there. And it turned out to be a political event by the Modern Democratic Party. And I'm like, okay. From the moment I walked in, I saw the ushers already wearing shirts with Banky's picture. So I just knew, okay, Banky's running for office. Now, the thing is, before now, we've been privileged to have Banky W here on the show to talk about um, which way 2019. And he's expressed so strongly his views with regards to politics and participation, most especially for young people. Banky has always emphasized the fact that we have the numbers. And because we have the numbers, we have definitely the chance to make a difference. Now, not only has he come on Hello Nigeria to do this, we've known him going on several platforms as well to speak about pushing Nigeria forward. For example, there was a video he had in um, TPH, this present house, where he was invited and he spoke so much about politics. So now, the question is, do you think he always nursed the political ambition or would you say that he's spoken so much about this and people have kind of told him, you know, Baba, you've spoken so much. You, you already have this platform. Why not just run? So would you think that it was something that was premeditated or would you think it happened because of his activism and how much he's pushed for a better Nigeria? Um... Maybe he nursed the ambition before now, I don't know. But I know that um, I attended an event by Ban Collie Williams at the Glitz event at some Live Your Dreams Africa. Yes, I, I was there. And I saw how he spoke about it. And I remember one of the questions Ban Collie asked him was, if you were pushed or you were given the opportunity to change things around you politically, would you take it? And he was like, I'd have to pray about it first. I have to be sure that... This is the way to go, not because everybody says there's something in politics if you get there. So I would personally say from the places I've seen him speak about this, he is pretty much passionate about it. It's not just about nursing some selfish ambition. It's because he actually wants to do something So that means it. it was not part of the plan before, because from what Likely. you're saying at the event, I was there as well, but I didn't wait up until by the time okay. my session was done, I had to leave. Yeah. So if at the end of the day... He's made that statement saying he'd have to pray about it. That means at that time he wasn't nursing the intention of going for Likely. office. So after that, who knows? But we, we have a video clip of Banky when he gave his speech and made the announcement of him planning to run for office. So check it out when we come back. We'll be running you through a list of some celebrities who have gone into the political scene. Now, bear in mind, Banky will not be the first. Neither will he be the last. We've had the likes of Oyenka Wenu, Richard Mofedamijo, Kanayo O, Kanayo, Hilda Dokubo. Several other people have also gone ahead to run for office from the political scene. And some people have said that, you know, being an entertainer gives you a larger platform because you have a large following, you have a face, you have a voice, you have a platform that people honor and respect. So would you think that a lot of them just go there for all the paparazzi and the glitz and, you know, that they're not really going there to effect a change? I would say that, you know, Banky, I'm not endorsing, do not consider this endorsing any candidate or whatsoever, but over time we've seen how passionate he's been about Nigeria. And it's not just about Banky, we need to see more young people, you know, but for the entertainers going into the political scene, do you think that a lot of them are going there for their own personal interest? I'm because... sorry, I'm going to say many of them are. Okay. Many of them just woke up and realized that there was money in politics. And they felt the, you know, politicians of now shouldn't be the only ones who enjoy the national cake. But I'm happy, like, when we look at people like Banky, for example, who are coming out to say, okay, we are doing this because we have a plan. Many of such celebrities who have come before, some of them didn't even have good manifestos. I have gone through the manifestos of some of these celebs, and some of them just actually are just going there for oh, let's go and do the chop by chop thing. But for Banky, there's a plan. He has ready-made plan, and he's going to tell you, this is how we will go about this. And we are sure that if we follow the blueprints like this, this is what we will get. Now, we must add that this is not in any way, shape, or form an endorsement of Bankoli Wellington, popularly known as Banky W., or the modern Democratic Party. However, because it was news that broke out over the weekend, we decided we'd bring you first-hand information. We'll just read you a few of the 
celebrities who have been in the industry as well. So we have Kate Henshaw. She contested at the PDP primaries in Calabas, but did not win in Cross River State, but she didn't win. However, in 2015, in December, Kate Henshaw was made special advisor liaison Lagos to Cross River State. We also have Desmond Elliott, who is a seasoned actor and producer in the Nigerian movie industry. I, I can't say that I've worked with him. Very talented. He contested for a seat in the Lagos State House of Assembly in 2015 and won. He was sworn into office at the Lagos State House of Assembly as a member representing Surulere 01 consistency. Constituency, I beg your pardon. We also have Nollywood veteran Richard Mufet Damijo. He was a commissioner of culture and tourism in Delta State from 2009 till 2015. One that I would say that I benefited from, you know, his government because whilst he was in power was when he did the he was Commissioner of Culture and Tourism. He did a competition that I partook in and I won. So yes, I definitely benefited from that administration. And not just me, because it was a competition for many young people who basically had the talent of quote unquote acting. And it was a rigorous training process. And yeah. So we also have actress Hilda Dokubo, who was one of the first Nigerian celebrities to get into the political game. She was appointed special advisor on youth affairs to the former River State Governor Peter Odili in the early 2000s. Kanayo O. Kanayo joined the then ruling People's Democratic Party and had his eyes on the House of Representatives, member for Ahiazu Ezinihite Mbise Federal Constituency in 2011. However, he lost to the primary elections. And if you remember very recently, we saw him celebrating over social media because he had just graduated as a lawyer. So congratulations to him. And I won't be surprised if I see him coming back to run for some other political office. Because what we find is that people who want to go into politics, like you, end up going to study in law, just like you did, because they feel that the legal um, certificate does give them some sort of credibility and backing, so you know where the law stands on certain issues, and you know what to do and what not to do. Last but not the least, we have Onye Kanwenu, not only a renowned Nigerian singer who was the former chairperson of the Imo State Council for Arts and Culture. She was appointed by former president, Good Luck Jonathan, as the executive director, chief executive officer of the National Center for Women Development in September 2013. Now, this is just a list of the many people who have been involved in politics. It's not enough for us to say Nigeria needs to be changed, Nigeria needs to be fixed, but we need to see young people that are coming out. Not young to run shouldn't just be a slogan. We need to see young people that are coming out and getting involved in the process. Run for office. Now, beyond running for office, you know that you can actually cause a change without being at the seat of power because, indeed, the office of the citizen is the highest office of the land. So that's something we should always remember, not think that until I become a senator, until I become a governor or a president, I will effect a change. Don't wait until you're governor or president. Start from the Senate or the House of Representatives. And if you can't start from there, start from the local government. And if you can't start from the local government, you know, just start by being a good Nigerian, going for political meetings, join a party, asking for accountability, and ensuring that you're there when these conversations are being held. All right? To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.